Arabia before proclamation of prophethood. I praise Allah seeking completion of his blessing, submitting to his glory and expecting safety from committing his sins. I invoke his help being in need of his sufficiency, of protection. He whom he guides does not get astray. He with whom he is hostile gets no protection. He whom he supports does not remain needy. Praise is most weighty of all that is weighed and the most valuable of all that is treasured. I stand witness that there is no God but Allah the One. He has no like. My testimony has been tested in its frankness, and its essence is our belief. We shall cling to it forever till we live and shall store it facing the tribulations that overtake us because it is the foundation stone of belief, Iman, and the first step towards good actions and divine pleasure. It is the means to keep Satan away. I also stand witness that Muhammad peace be upon him is his slave and his prophet. Allah sent him with the illustrious religion, effective emblem, written book, one, effulgent light, sparkling gleam and decisive injunction in order to dispel doubts, present clear proofs, administer warning through signs and to warn of punishments. At that time people had fallen in vices whereby the rope of religion had been broken, the pillars of belief had been shaken, principles had been sacrileged, system had become topsy-turvy, openings were narrow, passage was dark, guidance was unknown and darkness prevailed. Allah was being disobeyed, Satan was given support and belief had been forsaken. As a result the pillars of religion fell down, its traces could not be discerned, its passages had been destroyed and its streets had fallen into decay. People obeyed Satan and treaded his paths. They sought water from his watering places. Through them Satan's emblems got flying and his standard was raised in vices which trampled the people under their hoofs, and treaded upon them with their feet. The vices stood on their toes, in full stature, and the people immersed in them were strayed, perplexed, ignorant and seduced as though in a good house, too, with bad neighbors. Instead of sleep they had wakefulness and for antimony they had tears in the eyes. They were in a land where the learned were in bridal, keeping their mouths shut, while the ignorant were honored. In the same sermon Amir al muminin referred to al in nabi the household of the Holy Prophet, as under. They are the trustees of his secrets, shelter for his affairs, source of knowledge about him, center of his wisdom, valleys for his books and mountains of his religion. With them Allah straightened the bend of religion's back and removed the trembling of its limbs. In the same sermon he spoke about the hypocrites they sowed vices, watered them with deception and harvested destruction. al e Muhammad. None in the Islamic community can be taken at par with the progeny, three, of the Prophet, al e Muhammad. One who was under their obligation cannot be matched with them. They are the foundation of religion and pillar of belief. The forward runner has to turn back to them while the follower has to overtake them. They possess the chief characteristics for vice guarantee. In their favor exists the will and succession of the Prophet. This is the time when right has returned to its owner and diverted to its center of return.